Welcome to On The Beat everyone, I'm Troy Thompson. Joining me today is Will Cooper of Crowell, Gillis and Cooper Law Firm. And today we're talking about, have you been injured on the job? Welcome to the show, my friend. Nice to see you again. It's good to see you. Good to okay. be back. Okay, if when you say injured on the job, before I get into my questions, what do you mean by that? Are there different types of injuries that one should be concerned about or is it all injuries? It's actually all injuries. Uh, Miss Mississippi's workers' compensation law covers all injuries, no matter what type, that occur on the job. So any injury that occurs while working in the course and scope of your employment qualifies under the Mississippi Workers' Compensation Act. Interesting. So what does someone need to do? Let's just say I fall going down the stairs upstairs here. Okay, and I'm at work and I just run into the desk and I slip on so the, the step and break an arm. Exactly. What so do the, I need to so do? So the first thing you do is you, you notify your supervisor that mm -hmm. you've been injured on the job because the employer has to file a notice of first injury. And so the first thing to do is do that. And then, of course, then you tell your supervisor who the witnesses were, the circumstances, the facts, all of that, where that can all be preserved for the record. Okay, so that's all documented information that we need to get to come and see you. Exactly. And, and, you, and at first you may not need an attorney because the way it works in Mississippi is they're going to cover your, your medical expenses Well, I was first. about to ask you that. Who's covering it? And the workers' comp carrier right. is, is, is a type of insurance um, that an employer who has five employees is required to have. So if you have five or more employees, you have to have workers' compensation coverage in the state of Mississippi. Oh, well, you just raved, raised a red flag there for me. What happens if you have only four staff? You, you're not required to, uh, to have workers' comp insurance. You can still opt in. And in situations like that, then, if you're injured on the job when they have less than five, then you have to prove that they were negligent. And so that is what's totally different about workers' compensation and a normal lawsuit. Okay, well, that's when we need people like you. Well, because it, it sounds like you can get messy. Yeah, and well, the, the thing is, if you're the only requirement for getting compensated while injured on the job is just that you were injured on the job while work, working in the course and scope of your employment. And the difference is you don't have to prove negligence, just an injury. So it doesn't matter okay. even if it's your fault. Okay. Okay, interesting. Now, what happens if I can't work? Let's just say I'm a chef and I slip and break my arm. I can't obviously cook. That's right. So how do I get all my expenses covered? How and do so I live? Once again, your medical expenses will be covered. And then if you're temporarily disabled, say you're out of work for six to eight weeks yeah. because of your broken arm, then you will get what is called temporary disability benefits. And here's how they're calculated two-thirds of your average weekly wage. Gross or net? Um, it's, it's actually, it's two-thirds of your average weekly wage gross right. subject to um, a minimum and the minimum, I mean a maximum, and the maximum is like $515. Okay, so you would be covered for seven Oh, well, up to six or seven weeks, whatever you're not working. Right. Short term. Which would be two-thirds of your average weekly wage. Interesting. And then after that, if you suffer what is called a permanent disability, then you can be compensated for that as well. Loss of wage earning capacity or, for example, they give you a disability rating and they will pay you a percentage. Say your disability rating is 5%, then they will pay you 5% of that rating and it's sometimes a multiple of that rating. And so the kicker is, but if it's a scheduled member like you mentioned for mm. your arm, if you cut off your hand, that is a certain number of weeks that they pay you based on your average oh weekly gosh. wage. It's crazy, isn't it? It is. And, and so the way it works is people aren't going to get rich on workers' comp. Yeah. And so there's no point in faking it. Well, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming in. If you want to find out more information, especially if you've been injured on the job, call Will Cooper of Crowell, Gillis and Cooper Law Firm. They're going to look after all the things that you need to do to get the next step forward. We'll be back after this short break.